Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ken Molestina. The alleged shooter, 15 year old Ethan Crumley, along with his parents, are sitting in the Oakland County Jail. The parents were arraigned over the weekend after authorities say they were on the run. The Oakland County men who allegedly helped them hide also now under investigation. CW 50's Chris Walker has the latest. This is the building where Detroit police found Jennifer and James Crumbly early Saturday morning and now the owner of the studio where the couple was located is finding himself at the center of the investigation. Lending a favor to a friend is usually a good deed, but for Andre Shakura, it's a decision that's landing the Detroit artist in hot water. Shakura allegedly offered his office to the pair while police were in the middle of a manhunt to find them. The two were arrested around 4 a.m. Saturday, over 50 miles from their home at Shakura's office on Detroit's east side. He didn't know that Monday, Shakura's lawyer Clarence Daz went on the defense, saying his client didn't know about the search when he allowed the couple to stay at his office. They had received death threats all week, so they wanted to go somewhere where they could have some peace for a few hours. The couple was accused of skipping town to evade involuntary manslaughter charges. Their son, Ethan Crumbly, allegedly opened fire on classmates last Tuesday, killing four students and injuring seven others. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald claims his parents had knowledge of their son's violent plans and did nothing. Prosecutors say the couple skipped a Raymond and fled but their defense attorneys are arguing just the opposite. They were terrified. They were not at home. They were figuring out what to do. No charges have been filed against Shakora. Jennifer and James Crumbly are currently being held at the Oakland County Jail on a $500,000 cash surety bond. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.